Musico and his son-in-law Joseph Morrison were arrested in a terror plot to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer. I'm still this couldn't get any worse, right? So this happened from Washington CNN. 13 people were charged Thursday in the alleged domestic terrorism plot to kidnap Michigan's Democratic Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Federal and state officials announced Whitmer at times has been the focus of extreme vitriol from the far right groups over the handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. And this is what she had to say after surviving that whole encounter. 13 members of two militia groups were preparing to kidnap and possibly kill me. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer thanked law enforcement on Thursday after they arrested 13 people, many linked to an anti-government militia group involved in alleged plots to abduct the Democratic governor and attack the state capitol building. I also want to thank Attorney General Nessel and the U.S. Attorneys Birch and Schneider and their teams for pursuing criminal charges that hopefully will lead to convictions, bringing these sick and depraved men to justice. Earlier at a press conference in Grand Rapids, U.S. Attorney for the Western District of Michigan, Andrew Burge, detailed a complicated plot to violently overthrow Michigan's government, an operation FBI agents became aware of on social media. The alleged conspirators used operational security measures, including communicating by encrypted messaging platforms, conducted coordinated, coordinated surveillance on the governor's vacation home, discussed detonating explosive devices to divert police from the area of the home and that the group successfully detonated an improvised explosive device wrapped with shrapnel to test its anti-personnel capabilities. Whitmer has been a frequent target of President Donald Trump over her efforts to enforce social distancing measures and tweeted in April, quote, liberate Michigan. Stoking distrust, fomenting anger. From the state's capital Thursday, the governor accused Trump of encouraging extremist groups, citing comments he made to the far-right Proud Boys at last month's presidential debate. Right, Proud, Proud Boys, right. stand back and stand by. Hate groups heard the president's words not as a rebuke, but as a rallying cry, as a call to action. Trump's Democratic challenger Joe Biden said he also thought the president's words encouraged violent domestic extremists. The words of the president matter. And you saw what the head of the FBI said a couple days ago. He said the greatest terrorist threat in America is from white supremacists. Why can't the president just say, stop, 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 stop? As of Thursday evening, Trump had not made any remarks related to the alleged kidnapping plot. Two of the 13 men arrested in the alleged domestic terrorism plot to kidnap Michigan's Democratic Governor Gretchen Whitmer were Marine veterans, according to the Marine officials. So let's just go into this video and it's really going to share some information on how they were interacting with their neighbors and what their neighbors thought about them. Militia members, Jason Colthorpe with new insight into some of the men involved from their neighbors and what we found on social media. This was a training center in the sense that yes, many of them met here. In fact, neighbors saw dozens of men in their military fatigues out here and they often heard shots fired, but not very high tech. All you have to do is look at the tires behind me. That was actually a makeshift shooting range. Beautiful country out here, and all of a sudden, out of the peace and quiet, bam, 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 bam for hours. Pam Karshnock lives next door to the home on Dunn Road in Munich that was raided early Thursday. Many neighbors had been fed up with all the shooting there in recent months. I was going to confront him a couple times. My husband said no. Don't, you know, that's why people move to the country, yada, yada. And I thought, well, in the times we've got with the gun rights and so on, I better not say anything. She and everyone else came to learn today this was much more than just some guys firing automatic weapons when the men who lived there, Pete Musico and his son-in-law, Joseph Morrison, were arrested in a terror plot to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer. I'm still <laughs> shaking. I'm still shaking knowing it was that close to me. And just thinking back to the time, I almost approached them to ask them to stop. 
<laughs> There's hundreds of millions of other people in this country who think the same way I do. The 42-year-old musical has posted several videos on YouTube sharing his disgust with the government at all levels. We're tired of it. We're tired of the tax to fix things when the taxes are already there to fix things. The money needs to go where it's supposed to and not into politicians' hands. In addition to the shooting, Neighbors had seen several men in militia fatigues at that home on Dunn, and just yesterday, something more than gunshots. And yesterday, my husband heard a boom, you know, so apparently that was the IED being tested, uh, but it shook our windows, and it kind of, you know, <laughs> scared us. Just, you can imagine what neighbors are thinking out there. A lot of them wouldn't even go on camera with us or give us their names because they're afraid of, uh, of that. Now, uh, we should point out the feds, according to the feds in that affidavit, Morrison and Musico are the founding members of the Wolverine Watchmen, an anti-government, anti-law enforcement militia. Devin. So, Jason, are there any more to that property where they may have uh, trained or practiced all of this? It's only an acre, so no, there okay. really isn't anything beyond that, although that doesn't mean they haven't tried to use it as such. Uh, another neighbor told us that uh, their neighbor was out walking, has an adjacent property walking. The bullets suddenly were flying by him, hitting trees, and it come to find out they were just shooting randomly using that as a target range until they told them to stop that. So, or, no, just an acre of property, Devin. Yeah. All right, Jason. Senator Mike Sharkey tweeted, a threat against our governor is a threat against us all. We condemn those who fought against her and our government. They are not patriot. There is no honor in their actions. They are criminals and terrorists, and they should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, and I totally agree with that statement. Okay, so Michigan Sheriff says maybe the plotters were just trying to arrest her. In his jaw-dropping interview, I want you guys to see why he even said what he said, because this officer is really associated with two of these criminals that were charged for trying to allegedly kidnap this governor. I spoke with Barry County Sheriff Darleaf, who does say he knows these guys. He, quote, has never had lunch with them or anything like that, but has ran into them at some of these rallies. He said they've always been nice and respectful to him, adding they deserve a fair trial. Michael and William Null were among the first charged Thursday for their alleged roles in the plot to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer. The brothers from Plainwell and Shelbyville are now charged with providing support for terroristic acts on top of weapons charges. Their West Michigan homes raided Wednesday night. I uh, was able to hear them say, FBI, have a warrant for your arrest. Come out with your hands up. A neighbor of William Null spoke with Fox 17 under the condition of anonymity. They witnessed the raid and were shocked hearing what it was related to. I had heard that there was a lot of militia people, their right to do so, but um, to the extent that we just found out last night, totally surprised about that. The Null brothers had ties to militia groups and were frequently seen at local demonstrations, including at this rally in protest of Governor Whitmer's stay-at-home order held last May in Grand Rapids. You can see William Null on stage alongside Barry County Sheriff Dar Leaf, a guest speaker at the event. We spoke with Sheriff Leaf Thursday night. Well, I haven't read everything up on it. I've, I've got other duties to do. It wasn't our investigation. So I, I was shocked. I did not see this coming with those guys, but still, uh, we can't convict them in the news media here. They do have a right to a fair trial. Leaf says he doesn't know of Null's alleged involvement in the plot and doesn't have any regrets about sharing a stage with him. Do you have any regrets from being on stage, sharing a stage with the guy who's now being charged in a plot to kidnap the governor? Well, it's just a charge, and they say a plot to kidnap. And you got to remember that, are they trying to kidnap? Because a lot of people are angry with the governor, and uh, they want her arrested. So are they trying to arrest, or was it a kidnap attempt? Because you can still, in Michigan, if it's a felony, you can make a felony arrest. And I think it's MCL 764.4, something like that, 0.5, somewhere on there. And uh, it doesn't say if you're at an elected office that you're exempt from that arrest. So uh, I have to look at it from that angle, and I'm, I'm hoping that's more what it is. In fact, they, these guys are innocent until proven guilty, so I'm not even sure if they had any part in it.